Voting is ongoing in Iran. Apart from its economic wars, the country faces a plethora of sanctions imposed by the West. In fact, amid the presidential polls in Iran, the United States has now issued fresh sanctions, as confirmed by U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. So what are these sanctions? We tell you more in our next report. Iran has been the target of sanctions imposed by the EU, UN and US since 2005 for violating agreements, refraining it from pursuing nuclear weapons. Iran's economy is suffering greatly as a result of these sanctions. Multiple sanctions have been imposed on Iran for its nuclear program, since UN's nuclear watchdog found that Tehran was not compliant with its international obligations. In the early 2000s, signs of uranium enrichment activity sparked fresh worries around the world, which led to a series of sanctions from the West. The goal of these international sanctions were to prevent Iran from obtaining materials related to nuclear energy and to apply economic pressure on the Iranian government to stop its work on uranium enrichment and other nuclear weapons related projects. However, US sanctions on Iran long predate the nuclear non-proliferation concerns. Once allies, both nations have had fraught relations over the decades. Following the seizure of the U.S. Embassy in Tehran in 1979, the U.S. government placed economic and political sanctions on Iran. Washington has maintained the ruling and even increased the penalties since then. Additional sanctions were imposed by the U.S. in January 1984, when Iran-backed Hezbollah militant group was involved in the bombing of the U.S. Marine base in Beirut. Iran was listed by the U.S. as a state sponsor of terrorism that year. This triggered a host of sanctions, including restrictions on U.S. foreign assistance, a ban on arms transfers, and export controls for dual-use items. The Joe Biden administration has also imposed more sanctions on Iran after its missile and drone attack on Israel on 14th April. In 2015, to get relief from sanctions, Iran, along with several world powers, including the US, signed a landmark accord, formerly known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA. Iran agreed to remove a large portion of its nuclear program and allowed more thorough international inspections of its facilities in exchange for the lifting of sanctions worth billions of dollars. But ever since President Donald Trump pulled the US out of the agreement in 2018, it has been in jeopardy. Brussels has imposed sanctions for human rights violations in addition to the non-proliferation sanctions. These include asset freezes, travel bans and prohibitions on the export of equipment that might be used for internal repression or telecommunications surveillance. The sanctions have severely curtailed trade, drastically decreased Iran's oil earnings and contributed to record low unemployment, skyrocketing inflation and a decline in the value of the Iranian rial relative to the US dollar. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.